Hi there, my name is Taya and I run the Live Oak Public Library's craft program. And for the month of January, we are going to be making geometric jars that look something like this. What you're going to need for this craft is a mason jar, some masking tape, paints and paint brushes, a cup of water, paper towels, decorative string, scissors, hot glue or E6000 glue, and some paint pens. Our first step is going to be laying our tape on our mason jar in the pattern or design that we want it laid in. So how I'm going to do that, since I don't necessarily want my lines this thick, this is just a personal preference, you can leave it this thick and it'll look fine. I want mine a little thinner though, so I'm going to go ahead and rip off the amount of tape, um, the length that I want my first line, and I'm going to just tape it on the edge right here. Take a pair of scissors and cut down the tape until I get it to the width that I want, which I'm just going to do this straight down the center. And I'm going to cut all the way down the tape, and then I'll lay it on the jar in the position that I want it in. And I'm going to do this until the entire jar is covered in the designs that I want it to be in. So this one I'm just going to kind of run right here. And then I'll run this one right there. So I'm going to continue cutting and laying tape crisscrossed around the jar to create a mosaic design until I'm happy with what it looks like. All right, now that my tape is laid, our next step is going to be to go ahead and fill in the clear splotches with our colored paints. So I picked five colors. I've got a dark pink, a light pink, a shimmery green blue, a light blue, and then a bright yellow. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick these and sporadically color them. So you want to make sure that you don't do two of the same color next to each other. You just kind of want to keep them spaced out. And I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. So when you're painting it, if you do thin layers, it'll look smeared like, which if that's your thing, feel free to do it like that. I'm just kind of coating it on here a little bit just to make it a little bit thicker because I want to see the colors that I don't want to see through the glass except for where the tape is. So you can either do multiple layers or you can just lay it on really thick and really blend it on there and try to make it look smooth with thicker strokes. Okay, so I did multiple layers of paint off camera and have given it a few hours to dry just to make sure that it's definitely not wet. So our next step is going to be to go ahead and peel off our tape now. So peeling off the tape will give us our clear parts of the mason jar and allow us to see our mosaic design. So I'm just going to start here at the top and get a hold of the tape and start to carefully peel it off of the mason jar. And just set it to the side. And I'm going to go ahead and peel all of the tape off. And I did do the bottom as well just because I wanted it to have some color down there. So I'm going to make sure I get that tape off as well. All right, so I went ahead and pulled all of the tape off of my jar, so you can see that I have the distinct clear lines on it now. I did go back and touch up a few areas where the tape pulled some of the paint off just to kind of make it look a little bit cleaner. I do like the rough edges because I feel like it makes it look a little more rustic. So if you want a cleaner, straight edged look, you can pull the tape off before the paint is completely dry and touch it up then because it will get cleaner lines. So now that we have our geometric jar done, I'm going to go ahead and decorate it just a little more. I'm going to add a little ribbon around the neck of the mason jar. So I'm going to go ahead and tie this on and just make it look pretty. So once you have the bow situated where you want it, I'm just going to take some E6000. You can use hot glue or E6000, it's up to you. And I'm just going to put a dollop behind where the center of the bow is just to try to secure it into place and make sure that doesn't shift or move. So once I have that done, my next step is going to be to go ahead. I'm personally going to use this as a blessing jar throughout 2021. And anytime something that just great or awesome or super funny that I want to remember happens, I'm going to write it down on a little piece of paper and stick it in the jar. And then on New Year's of 2021, almost 2022, I'll open them all and be able to reflect back on my year and all of this year's blessings in my life. 
So I'm going to take a red paint pen and you could also use this as like an adventure fund and use it to store money or anything you want. Um, I just like the purpose and the idea behind a blessing star, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to write blessing star right here, or you can leave it blank and just use it for anything around your house. <laughs> All right, so we went ahead and wrote that on our jar, and our last step is another optional step. I'm going to go ahead and add a clear coat. You can do this using Mod Podge or a spray clear coat, which I'm going to do. If you're doing a spray like Krylon, I would make sure to go ahead and take it outside because the fumes can be a little much. So I'm gonna do that outside, but that is it for this craft today. You now have a decorative little geometric jar that you can use for whatever you want. Thank you so much for attending today's video. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, make sure you look out for more videos from Swanee River Regional Library in the future. Have a great day.